Hello everybody, my name is Bash Harry and this is the Harry Knit and today we've got a yarn haul. It's been like a while since I've had like a full yarn haul. I think the last one I did was in January because in February I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to see how long it could be before I buy yarn. <laughs> Because uh, I notice I tend to purchase a lot from Wool Warehouse. It is the only viable way for me to get like branded yarn in Brunei uh, for a relatively good price. So I didn't spend anything on yarn in the month of February, uh, save for things that arrived or that my partner got for me. And then March arrived and on like the last day of February at like 8 p.m. I purchased yarn. So I consider that a bit of a win. It was very difficult because when you're under QO uh, and I needed to relax, all I was doing was just going on wool warehouse and just adding things to my cart, taking things out of my cart, putting it back in, so on and so forth. So <laughs> it, was, it was basically in my cart for like a whole month. I wanted to like just make sure I you know, took advantage of drops because I think they had like a 30% sale. I know I'm talking too much, so let's just move on to the yarn haul, which is a lot, okay? So, oof. This is what I got. It's a lot of yarn. Am I surprised that I got this much? No. I'm still somebody who is building up their stash because I don't have that much yarn all things considered i think my mom has more yarn than me so this is my own personal stash instead of stealing from my mom's um yeah we've got all of this is from wool warehouse i did get some yarn not from wool warehouse but i think i'll just save that for my knitting podcast the end of this month so this one's gonna be just focused on all the stuff that i got from wool warehouse some from drops, some from Malabrigo, Fiberspace, uh, Fiberspace, I think it's called, because I really wanted to expand my, like, brands. I wanted to try new ones out instead of just sticking to drops. So we're going to talk about the yarn haul and, like, all the plans that I have for this specific yarn, because I'm trying to be more mindful about what I make. <sighs> Not so much on yarn though, as we can tell. So let's just get started. So let's go with this bag first. Let's open it up. Why can't I open it up? Let's go with this very beautiful blue. I was showing it to my mom like last night and even she thinks this is such a beautiful blue color. I got two skeins of this. This is the Malabrigo 150 Azul Profundo Worsted 100% Merino Wool. Look at how pretty it is. So I've got two skeins of this. It kind of looks like... Azul is the perfect way to describe this color. It's a very dark blue. It's rich. Um, and it is very thick. I don't know if you can see that. I've heard such good things about Malabrigo. And this one is definitely the most expensive yarn that I purchased. <laughs> all things considered. And I usually don't work with worsted. Like I said, the weather doesn't really permit me to wear really chunky, heavy wool. But the reason why I bought this is because I have... Um, the Ribble, Ribble Dale vest from Lily Kate makes and I really wanted to make it using a more high quality yarn so I thought the Malabrigo worsted would be really good. Is Malabrigo considered high-end yarn? I don't know but <laughs> this is what I got. It's 210 yards so I think I got about 420 yards of this which should be enough for like a size 2 for a vest it is so soft. I think this would also be good for a hat. But I actually bought, I'm oh, sorry, but I actually bought more yarn to make with a hat. So I'm sticking to this. This is so pretty. 
but it's actually much thinner than I thought it would be. I think this is, is this 100 grams? Yes, this is 100 grams. So, I don't know. This is the first time I'm working with Malabrigo, and I have worked with 100, per, 100 gram skeins from Cascade, and that one actually felt much thicker than this. This is quite small, but I don't know. I know that like worsted weight yarn tends to be heavier and thus less um, meters to work with, but this is so pretty. Plus it's 100% merino, and lately I've been falling in love with merino. Don't ask me why, because I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm in like a merino binge the past few months. I think it's just because it's one of the few kinds of wool that I could wear out in my country and not be sweating my body off. <laughs> the next thing that I got from my little haul, I'll take out this. Speaking of Cascade, oof, we've got four of these. And it is the Cascade Yarns 2020 Fingering. I really love Hanks. I think they're so cute. But I do not have like a yarn swifter uh, to make it easier for me to wind them into balls. But they are so pretty. This is in the shade... This is shade the shade. It's in the shade... Ugh, do I have it here? It's in the shade Slate Rose, so it looks like this. I have four skeins of this. I have worked with Cascade before. I worked with their antique. I've worked with their antique heather collection before, and I really loved it. Even though it's more rustic, it's quite thick and it's kind of itchy on the skin alone. Uh, so be wary of that. But I have worked with their uh, heritage prints for socks and for the diaphanous raglan from Jesse May Designs, and I really, really loved how soft it was. This one's different, because I think it is 100% merino wool. Is it 100% merino wool? I'm going to assume it is, but I, I want to just confirm it. No, it is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. So basically the same as I got for their heathers. Yeah. This is 50 grams, 273 yards, 20, 250 meters. It looks like this. I'm also planning on making uh, at least one Lily Kate Makes design with this, either the Avonham cardigan, but I don't really know which yarn I should use with that. I actually bought more for that specific pattern because I think that pattern is so pretty. You can probably tell from the whole collection that I purchased that I have like a color collection. I have like a set number or like set shades that I like to work with and pinkish reds are definitely one of them. You want to see what it looks like? Looks like this. I don't know if you can see it up close. Yes. It's quite thick for a fingering yarn to be honest and it's loosely plied I think. You can see like from here that's very loosely plied and a part of me thinks I should not wind it into a hank or into a ball just yet because I heard from somewhere that if you do like wind it into a ball you lose the elasticity of the wool and it breaks more easily and I'm a little bit scared of that so I don't think I'm going to do it even though I don't have enough storage on my shelf. Uh, I need to start either working up more yarn or stop buying more yarn or get more storage especially in my room realistically though i'll probably just like buy more shelves so yeah i got this in the shade uh slate rose i also got another color that was very similar from fiber spates fiber spates and this is quite similar i got three skeins of this i think oh no Wait, wait a minute. Oh wow, I actually got three balls. I got three balls of the Malabrigo, cool. So I have about 600, 600-ish yards of it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I really need to check on my um, my cart again. Anyway, this is the Coops Knit. This is the, so it's not Fiber Spates, it's the other one that's Fiber Spates. This video is is everywhere right now. This is the Koopnik Sokya in the shade Amalite. 
75% fine superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, and I've got about three skeins of this. I think it's three skeins. Uh, it's in the shade Amolite. Very similar to the Cascade yarn. Like, it's in the same value, I think. Like, in the... Sh is that a plain? It's in the same, like, shade value, I think. This is a touch more redder than the Cascade yarn. Super pretty, though. I didn't think it would be so similar in the color, but I really like it. This one, obviously, is a sock yarn, and this one has slightly more yards, I think, with 213 yard, 231 yards, whereas this one is... Let me look at it. This one is, oh, this one's more. This is 273 yards, and this is 231, my bad. So this one has more, and it does feel thicker than this one. And I also am planning on making the Avenheim cardigan with this. As you can tell, I really want to start making it at least this month or next month, depending on if I have enough time. This is a machine washable wool oh, on wool cycle at 30 degrees celsius I'm, I'm assuming it's 30 degrees celsius and it is so pretty i've worked with sock yarn before um to make garments and if you heard from like my last video uh about my podcast i do not like making socks i i i accept the fact that i'm not really a sock knitter i have had the same one sock on my knitting needles for at least three weeks to a month right now i genuinely thought it wouldn't have taken so long but it has so something like this even though i bought sock yarn i'm probably just going to stick to making garments out of it i don't know why someone tell me why um some people prefer making garments and clothes rather than making socks because i thought i would like socks i thought i would really enjoy them but unfortunately I guess I'm just not that kind of knitter. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the tangent. I tend to do that when I'm very excited about stuff and yarn and all things knittery, crafty. <laughs> Let's move on to the next yarn I got. This one's on sale because I think it's going to be discontinued. This is the Rowan Mako Cotton Baby, 63% cotton, 37% Lysol. And it looks like this. I think it's an Aran weight yarn. And as they stated, it's for babies, but I'm probably going to use it for myself. And this is something that you would probably want for a summer garment. I think I bought this at a discount. I think it reduced the price quite significantly because it's being discontinued. And it looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a chain net design. So it's not plied or anything. You can see it's almost like a little eye cord. So it's very loose. Not loose, but it's very like, um, it's like a rope design, I think. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six skeins of this. Kind of like a stone color. I think is this is in the shade 1009. So this is in a dark gray. I'll probably be making a top out of this because it is made out of cotton and lysol. Lysol? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yes, this is in the dark gray color. And it's very pretty. There's no other way for me to say it except it's very pretty. I, prob I think you could probably make some really nice crochet garments out of this because of the yarn but i'll probably stick to knitting even though i do know how to crochet uh knitting is just the most comfortable for me i i just i much prefer it over crochet but i think if you are a crocheter and you wanted to make some garments this one would be a really good choice this one uses five and a half millimeter needles 19 stitches to four millimeters so yeah it's about like it's about an hour in weight yarn and it is 100 meters 190 yards so if i got six that means i have about 600 yards i wouldn't say it's sweater quantity i think at most 
it's probably like t-shirt quantity. Uh, I don't know. Because I know that for fingering weight yarn, you'd have to like have at least 1000 yards, but I'm not 100% sure what it is for like Aran weight yarn. And because I, I do make sweaters, but I don't make enough to justify purchasing maybe more than a thousand unless I'm making a dress, which I'm planning on doing very soon. Don't know when it's ever going to be finished, if it ever, ever will be finished. I've been planning it since early this January and it still has not happened. Uh, but I've got a few things I have to finish before I actually start doing that. All right, so that's one bag down, one more to go. This bag, uh, the next one, has more of the drops because I did mention that they had a they had a sale. They had a 30% off sale and I wanted to get the drops Bell and the drops Soft Tweed, but it ran out of stock by the end of February. But that's okay because I still got some really nice ones. Ugh, this is heavy and I don't know where to put it. Let's just open this up first. Ooh, let's start with the fiber spades. So the first one that I got, wait, did I buy fiber spades? No, I didn't buy fiber spades, no. No, that was fiber spades. Where's my mind going to today? I do not have enough coffee. This is the West Yorkshire Spinners. Signature 4-ply, perfect for socks, 75% wool, 25% nylon, and I have it in the color butterscotch. Looks like this. This is actually, it feels quite thick actually, um, almost rustic. I wouldn't say it's itchy, but compared to the Fiber Spates Coop, Coop Socks, Coop Knits, Coop Knits, this feels a little more durable, I think that's the word, a little bit stronger. So this is made in Yorkshire, England. It is 400 meters, 437 yards, 100 gram ball. And yes, like I mentioned, I'm planning on making the Avonham cardigan uh, because I really want to make it, but I'm worried that the yarn that I'm going to use is not going to be perfect. And because it uses yarn, like it uses needles are like 3.25 and I only have three millimeter or 3.5, uh, I need to make sure that I have the yarn right. So this is what it looks like, but it is nicely plied. Hope you can see it. I am slowly falling in love with yellow. I do love a good yellow color to brighten up the skin. I have found out that I am a soft autumn and one of the colors they would recommend is like a very soft yellow butterscotch color. So I'm looking forward to knitting with this. I only bought two balls because like I said, this is about 437 yards. So it's what, 900 yards. And for a cardigan, I think this is more than enough, especially since the Avonham cardigan is quite thin, I think. No, it's not thin. It's, well, oh, there's dust everywhere. It's short. So it reaches about here. And I'm planning on making it without the mohair. So hopefully it would be really nice. This is the yarn she recommended in the Ravelry. Uh, so I'm probably going to knit with this first. And if it doesn't look nice, then I'll move on to the fiber spates. And if it doesn't look nice, I'll move on to the cascade fingering. Uh, but I like working with fingering. So it's better to have like a few more than not enough, you know? The next thing I got and this is definitely the chunkiest and I got two colorways from it. So let me just get this. Oh, it's a mess. It's such a mess. Like me. Oh, it broke. Yeah, it broke. It broke. Bonus ch super chunky extra value. 100 grams, 100% acrylic, 90 yards. Tis a thick boy. Tis a very thick boy. I got it in two colors. I got it in um, berry and pumpkin. So this is what it looks like. It's 100% acrylic and I don't usually work with acrylic anymore. It's not something that I like as much. Uh, but the reason why I got it, especially in super chunky, is because I'm planning on knitting up a few hats. 
I made some using drop snow. I like the hats I made, it was very quick, but I don't think the drop snow was the best to use because it's kind of itchy, because it's 100% wool, it is a bit too warm. So I thought using this might be very bad, might be better. Plus, I'm actually very surprised how soft it is. <laughs> I'm hoping to make some more hats for the kids and I might make a YouTube video, a tutorial on how I make hats. There's so many on YouTube, honestly, but I'll probably make my version of it. I've been making hats for a long time. So hopefully I will be able to do that at least this month or next month, depending on how many, how much time I have. All right. Oh, there's so much on my table. The next thing that I got, let's go with drops because it's the only one that's left. I bought, there's so too many of this and they're so similar of color. I got the drops saffron, one in the color six. This is, I'm gonna say denim blue one in off-white and one in navy. I got eight of the saffron denim blue. I think three in navy and three in off-white. I've heard so many good things about saffron. I watch um, a crochet review, yarn snob I think, reviews on uh, drops and I've worked with saffron before a long time ago. It's very thin. And the reason why I am purchasing this is because of a test knit that is due in like three weeks. I have not started it because I needed this specific yarn. This one is 100% cotton, 160 meters slash 175 yards, 100% cotton. And I needed this for my project. I am going to start working on it as soon as I finish this video and as soon as I finish the socks because I want to finish the socks by today. It's, I'm so close. It's at the de toe decreases. Yeah, so I bought this for the base color and then the off-white and the navy blue for the color work. So I'm quite excited to finish that up and it was on sale. I think saffron usually goes for, I want to say like £1.15, but because of the sale it got reduced to I think 80p or 75p. I might be wrong, but that was the reason why I wanted to purchase it was because it was on discount. And speaking of discount, I also got 15, yes, 15 balls of the Drops Paris recycled denim in 100% cotton. So it looks like this. Zooming in. There we go. And I've got 15 balls of this, and the reason why is because I'm making a dress. I am making a nice summer dress for me and my sister, and it's my own pattern. And I thought, you know what, let's, let's just try it. It's on sale. I think this was 60p, so I bought 15 of them, and it was great. One concern about the yarn, though, is, and my mom has worked with Drops Paris before. I've worked with Drops Paris before. Drops Paris before I don't know I'm so nervous but she has this problem and I see it too is that it's very splitty I don't know how yarn can be splitty but it is and so it's a little bit rough as well and which is fine this one you can make with dishcloths or other home accessories but I'm probably going to make a garment out of this just be mindful of that when you are purchasing drops Paris that being said I've seen people make really great summer clothing with this just you have to keep in mind that it is cotton. Yeah, there's so much left in the bag, but I'm not gonna be showing you all of it because there's way too many. There's way too many. Uh, that is about it from me. This is a long video, very long video. There's one more thing that I purchased, uh, but it is not really a yarn. It's not, it's not a yarn. It's a wool wash, but I'll talk about it in the knitting podcast. Uh, at the end of the month because I want to try it out first but yeah that is about it from me this video was much longer than I anticipated I am sorry but nevertheless I hope you enjoyed uh it's kind of a bonus video who knows if you like this video please do like comment and subscribe 
I make new videos about crafting, knitting, and all that good stuff, and my battery is about to die, so I gotta go. My name is Bash Harry, this is the Harry Knit, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye!